Okay, today we're going to be doing a video on our TV. We got an Insignia TV. I bought it from Best Buy. Um, I bought this up there. It's supposed to be a 12 volt TV. I got one off the shelf, took it outside, brought it home, and it wasn't 12 volt. It was 110. Well, I went back to him and I told him, I said, listen, that one's 12 volt. How come this one's not 12 volt? Well, that was a new one. So now they don't make these anymore. Uh, they don't sell them at Best Buy anyhow. They may make them, but anyhow. Long story short, I got the display. What was off the shelf, they gave it to me, uh, I don't know, $20 off or some. I used the extra $20 to put a two-year warranty on it, so I got a warranty for two years for the same TV. So that's good. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started mounting this in the uh, runaway camp. Okay, my first step to all of this is to get this TV set in here where I need it. So what I did is I held my TV up there where I wanted to set my TV. Now this TV will come out and swivel down. It won't go real far, but it'll go far enough you'll be able to see it in the back. So I held it up there and I made a mark here where I want my TV bracket to set. Now this is where the wires come out. We made that little dot there. So this is where I want my bracket to set. This little bracket that I had gotten the, the yard cell, the TV holder, has a little level on it. So I took a, a level, a bubble level, a two foot level and stuck it inside my camper and made sure it was level from the inside of the camper because who knows if the tongue is actually level. So a lot of people will level the tongue, but you should really level the trailer. Um, what I'm going to do is I made that mark here and I'll get my bubble where it's straight up and down on this. Once I got it right in the center, get my bubble in the middle. This is a little hard. That's a little bubble. I'll make my marks. Now, here we go again. We're cutting holes in the camper now. We already cut a big one in there for our, the top of our fan. So now we're going to drill a couple holes. Now, I'm going to double up on these. This is just not to hold the TV on. I'm still going to need a antenna on this. So what I'm going to do is I'll bolt this on here. And I'll fabricate a bracket on the outside, something small, clean it up nice, make it look good to where the antenna can slide down in there. It'll be on the outside of this side. I'll try to make it as small as I can and as tight to the trailer as I can. I'll have a little uh, uh, whatever on there to tighten it up so it'll stay which direction I turn it in. And I'm just going to buy a small antenna. I don't think you need much. Maybe one or two t channels would be fine. So now we're going to drill these holes all the way through. Now when we get to that outside, we don't want to push real hard on it. Real lightly. And wait for it to drill through. Let the drill do the work. Let that drill do the work. Now, this is my camper, so... I'm going to make it mine if it means drilling holes or whatever. I'm just going to try this out. Make sure these holes line up okay. Okay, it all looks level. It looks good and straight there. But I think I may have just made a problem. This piece here slides down on the top. And guess what? I'm not going to be able to get it down on there. So I made a boo boo. So what do I do now? Hmm. I'll get it on there. Please don't make the same mistake. Make sure when you put your TV on that uh, this piece here will fit behind there. Now maybe. May, well, you got to make sure that there's enough room. Make sure there's enough room above this to put this on. I will figure mine out, but don't make that mistake. Make sure your holes are drilled low enough that this piece here, if you're using the same type of bracket, that it will slide down on there. So I'll figure something out and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, here's what we had. We had these bolts in there. And if I can't get that piece 
to slide down on this thing and it's bolted on this bracket's not going to be do, do me no good and I drilled two holes through my camper that I don't want in there so what I did what I came up with is I'm going to take a stove bolt or they call them carriage bolts I think uh, it's got a square end on the end of it I'm going to take a file and I'll file the inside of the hole out we'll file the inside of the hole out so this thing will fit down in there so when that bolt is on when it's when that carriage bolt is in there this won't turn so i'll be able to tighten it down from the outside and cut this off wherever how whatever length i need it so that's going to be my fix for my problem in there uh once this the outside piece is slid down on here this can't come out no more so it's going to be tight in there and we'll just go ahead and tighten it up from the outside and it'll be fine so try to learn from my mistake so we're going to get to filing this hole out here and we'll file it out so this thing sets down in there and it's kind of square so it'll hold that tip not always you can correct a problem i'd just be fortunate to be able to figure it out and i just cut square holes in them this one here it was already somebody had slotted it out a little bit so it actually fit in there pretty good and it slides down in and it doesn't turn so i know that one will be fine and then this one i had to foul out real good and get it down in there I actually it's a little tight but it fits in there tight so and that's what we really wanted is real tight ones so we'll still be able to now we can put the bracket on slide the bolts through the camper and then slide our piece down on well when this is slid down on these are going to be tight so we won't we'll be able to hold these tight inside this bracket to tighten it down so just luckily we figured that one out and it's not going to hurt anything but try not to make okay, that mistake. as you can see we got it fixed we got it on there and the carriage bolts are on the inside and everything worked out fine so now all we got to do is get this thing lined up on here and uh put our bolt in here let's get this down in here see this tv is made when i i installed it because i wanted to be able to set outside uh this door and watch it or be able to pull it over here and then turn it down and watch it in the back of the camper so that was the whole reason why i mounted it on this wall and i wanted it to turn and this swivel actually turns down too so i can loosen it up and turn it down and face it right into the back of the camper the face right in the back of the camper so either way we'll be able to watch it outside or still watch it in the back of the camper and then push it back up against the wall and tighten it up so that's uh where our tv is going to be i think it's great i think it worked out fine now we'll be doing probably a video on an antenna i'm going to use the same two bolts that i put outside this wall for this bracket and i'll fabricate a uh another bracket on the outside for the antenna i want to tell everybody thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down and uh if you like leave a comment until next time